Alright guys, so you're not used to seeing me like this. Normally I'm all done up, but listen, I'm not getting ready to, you know, take some stuff out of my room. So before I started like taking stuff out of my room and just putting stuff out, I just wanted to show you guys like a basic little room tour of how my room looks before because the app is after is gonna be so so different you're gonna see at the end so do not skip to the end but you gotta watch the process everything is a process so I'm gonna show you my room yeah so let's get in to the tour the door right and I have a pretty small room because I just like this room because it's, uh, it's far away from everybody else. So it's kind of like my personal own space. So from my door, we have this little thing right here. I don't know what made me decide to put this right here, but it just has it holds my makeup. And then at these two drawers, it just holds random stuff. And then I also have like this little bench, which I used to use for that. But these two got to go because she got a lot of dye on her. And I don't like that at all. So she got to go. This mirror definitely has to go. I think it's going to go in somebody else's room. But this one has definitely got to go. It's just like a little jewelry thing. But I really don't wear jewelry. So it's like, why? I have another mirror. The mirror is dirty. I have these drawers right here that have clothes in them. But those got to go because I've had this drawer forever and then i have my bed let me tell y'all why i've kept this bed for so long so i have grown up watching scary movies forever and there's always like the scene where the person like turns around into somebody else in the bed yeah so with this bed i don't gotta worry about that those scenes scare me the most but you know what it's time to put on my big girl panties and get a bigger bed so i gotta get a bigger bed and then also hamper um the sheet I used to cover with. Um, you guys see this corner in my filming, my filming um, background. So you guys pretty much know that this is where I keep most of my sneakers. Not all of my sneakers, but most of them. Uh, that is where I keep my clothes because as you can see, this room does not have a closet. So I keep most of my sneakers. And then that is my ring light that is giving us a little bit of light. And then up there, it looks a hot mess because it has like most of the stuff that I'm gonna be needing to repair my room and stuff like that like plaster paint and stuff like that so so yeah this room is gonna get a new makeover and i am going to be painting it by myself which i'm so anxious about i recently decided to like get rid of stuff in my room or just like do over my room because i've had this room since i was like 11 and it's just not fitting me anymore and it's just way too much furniture for the space and i'm about to be 20 it's like it's time for a change, new decade, new change. Um, that's exactly what we are going to do. We're gonna remake it and I'm gonna be taking you guys on the journey with me. I hope you guys watch the entire video because that means I'll be putting all this work in for nothing. And y'all really gonna make me edit, sit and edit the thing for 10 hours for you guys not to watch it? That's what we do now? The first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take out the things out of the drawer and find somewhere to put them for the time being. So let's get started with that. Kiss me through the phone. Kiss me through the phone. See you in the phone. Like nobody was messing with me when I, I had all the drones on this. I ain't even gonna hold you. And I also got my first heartbreak on this phone. Oh my god, can I let it go? It's okay because City Girls is up by 100 and you know the fellas is down by 27. So this is like this is something i got from it's from from pandora you know when you was like young and like i want pandora ring i want pandora bracelet i want my man to give me a pandora ring. so this is what i got from my first like real like longevity type of relationship 
it was cute. It was it was a cute moment. I keep little sentimental things like that. I don't know. I keep little um stuff like that, even if it's like from my old. I don't know if that's good. Cause what if I get a boyfriend and then he look and he's like, "Who the fuck got you this bracelet?" All right, so I just want to show y'all. What's been going on in my room? Cause my room looks a hot mess, like honestly. But I'm gonna show y'all like this little addition that I put in my room, and I feel like it's gonna be so great for storage. Savon, girl, don't look at me like that. Um, I did get a new set, a well, new piece of furniture. I have like a lot of other things coming in um but i just want to show you like a little sneak peek of what's gonna be in my room after the finished product i'm gonna be like wow so this is how my room is looking right now we got rid of everything those are just some clothes like some things that were on the hanger the little thing that i tried to take down um that is my wardrobe that is going because it's going to be replaced by this bad boy i love this one because i had to clorox it down because you know corona and stuff like that it's been outside um and stuff like that so i had to clorox it down um then i put like my beauty products right there but that's not gonna stay there that's not the final you know area for them but yeah, and then I just put like my shoes. Those are some of my shoes down there because we are getting rid of this bookshelf. And I think we're gonna put something different here. I don't know what I'm gonna put there, but something different. But that is the progress that we've made so far on day two. So let's continue working and getting this up to speed. Many hours later. Only all the furniture that I needed removed is gone and I am ready to start my painting process. But it's too late in the night, so I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So it is what is it today? Oh, it's painting day. So as you can see, I have all these little like white dots on my wall because you know I'm a contractor now and I what did I do? I plastered it because it had like little holes from me like using nails and stuff like that. See, I taped up like my walls, well, the trimming area of the wall, and as well as here. That I'm just gonna have to wing it because I don't feel like doing that. Wish me luck, guys, because I am so anxious about this and the lighting is not really good because it is a gloomy day, but we gonna get through it. We gonna get through it, okay? We gonna get through it. Honestly, I am so scared, but we gonna do this. I'm so scared. I don't know why though. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a contractor. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a contractor. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a con. Hours later. This is like my third hour and I still have to do like a paint. Um a what coat? What's the coat called? A second coat? And now I'm about to do my accent wall. For the hose in the back that don't know how to um open up paint, you get you a paint opener. And you see this group right here? Contracted one on one. Hopefully I'm not. It only got a quart because it's only one. Oh, she said, let me slide. Hopefully. This is like my first video where I'm like wearing my glasses fully. So, I'm going hand Montana on you hoes. Essentially, Nicole, Nicole. Ah! And I'm going to town. Ah! I'm 
I'm gonna like this color. Do we like it? how it looks so that's the color there's the color don't mind that little smidge right there we gonna fix her up why is it focusing on my hand it's focusing on my hand don't focus on my hand you see like the difference in between these two walls this is my accent wall and it's just a cute blue and same thing with this side so yeah that's how she looks this is how my setup is looking because i am about to put together my bed it's gonna be so hard but you know what we gotta do what we gotta do So this whole process is so hard. I'm working on the footboard now, but we got the headboard down pat. <laughs> you say, you feel me? So if I don't have a bed to sleep on, at least I got a headboard to like lay against. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, this is stressful. I never realized how stressful putting together a bed could be. And I don't like that. But now I'm really contemplating on like the whole setup of my room because this bed is kind of big for my room. But I do want a big bed because we not dealing with that little, that little bed no more. So I'm not sure what the hell I'm gonna do. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I just wanna let y'all know, I'm a driller. I'm really a driller, like I really drill stuff. I really drill stuff. Like I really bomb the builder. Do you see this? And do you see me? Other than when I do give birth, but I'm out of breath. I still gotta put the box spring on. It's so much. My wig look bad. I hope it's good. Trying to help. So how I get it out of here? That's the thing. I got this from Wayfair Love Box Spring. That'd be sad if you buy a bed and they come with bed bugs. That'd be so sad. <laughs> you gotta put a box spring together? I did not know that. I need a break. This is this is giving me anxiety. I'm taking a break. I can't do this. That long and hard process. This is how the bed is looking, how the space is looking. My room is small, but decorating it and putting stuff above like the bed and stuff will make it like look a bit better. Don't mind the corner over there. My dad's gonna finish that off because I obviously couldn't do it. And then I think I'm gonna put something here. So tomorrow we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Target and you know find some stuff to de decorate this. All right, guys. So it's been like a couple days since I put together my bed and my room is coming along. I will give you guys like a little sneak peek after I do this thing that's behind me. But look what came in my vanity for my room, and I never realized how much work it would be for me to put like a room together. But it's a lot of work. It's hard work. So after this, I'm probably not gonna do another room makeover. I'm just gonna let it be until I move out. We are gonna see how this goes because honestly, I'm kind of tired of putting stuff together. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, so excited. Can you believe I've been sitting here for a good two, three hours trying to figure this thing out. And this is all I got to show for it. Many unbearable hours later.